it's now time to enter my new career. I am like getting so emotional just talking about this. Hey everyone, I am back with another video to talk about my career change. This is basically a continuation of my first video if you haven't seen that yet and you're curious about how I became a software engineer and like my whole background and story of why I chose to switch into software engineering. Um, you can go ahead and watch that. I will include a link down in the description box below. But for this video, I will be talking about my experience after the boot camp and how I found a job, what steps I took, and some tips and advice that I thought I'd share with you all if you're going through a career change and um, you know, like you can relate to my story and whatever it may be. I'm really, really hoping that you can find something valuable in this video as well. Without further ado, let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with what I did while I was job hunting right after you know completing my course. My bootcamp had a job prep course that I would need to take after I completed my course and received my certification. They also had a job guarantee but the way that they guarantee it is that you have to take this job prep course and you apply for six months, apply to jobs. And um, if at the end of those six months you don't find a job, they give you all your money back basically. Like they would refund you the cost of the program that you took. I still remember when I received my certificate, like it was the first moment of completion. And I say first because I still had the job prep course to finish, but I still remember how I was feeling exactly. It just felt like a whirlwind of emotions. Like I'm finally done with everything. My hard work paid off and it's now time to enter my new career which is to me was so insane at the moment and honestly kind of still is like i am so proud of that i also had like a flashback of the beginning of my journey while i was like experiencing crossing the finish line so that was just it was an amazing feeling and the next step was to find a job and with this job prep course you get a mentor who would help you with setting up your LinkedIn, creating steps for you to more easily build your resume or like create your cover letters and all those things that you would need basically to be successful applying for jobs. I'm not sure how other boot camps do it, but this is what my boot camp included in their program. So while you're researching for what boot camp is right for you, you should look out for any job guarantee that they might have. Job prep course is normal to have in a bootcamp program so I kind of already had my LinkedIn and resume like set up because I have always enjoyed professional development in general so I had those on hand already and I just had to modify my resume to cater towards software engineering jobs now that I'm a software engineer and not an electrical engineer so when I went through the job prep course it didn't take me too long to finish it but it was really helpful getting feedback from my mentor whose you know, job is a recruiter. She's very, very knowledgeable of what recruiters are looking at and, and all that, so. I also created a generic cover letter that I can update accordingly to whatever job I'm applying to, which was probably the most helpful thing that I was able to get out of that job prep course because I was always too lazy to write my own, but because I had to complete one in order to finish the course, I was forced to write one. And to be honest, I say that it's the most helpful. That's only because I was able to finally write one for myself. But I didn't really use it for any of the jobs I applied to. Like none of them really requested a cover letter. But it's always nice to have ready. I would apply to job postings on like every possible job site you could think of. LinkedIn, Indeed, Dice for I think more so computer science related, ZipRecruiter, Glassdoor, literally any of those websites, like any job sites you can think of, I applied. And for networking events, I would literally just Google software engineering networking events, either online or in the area. I never went in person because there was always an option for like a remote one. 
happening like maybe every week i'm not sure but there are a lot of things that you can find on google if you just look it up i attended an online developer week which that is a developer conference where they had networking sessions with lots of different companies and i would go into these sessions really paying attention to what they're you know giving a lecture about or just whatever they're talking about i would try to ask as many questions as possible not in an annoying way but i would ask questions if I did have any and more just so that my name was out there and they could recognize it. I also attended this virtual career fair uh, which was really cool by the way. This was probably the most memorable thing during my job hunting experience because okay think of like a career fair that you would have in school or just in general a career fair anywhere. It's literally that but online. You can control your character like you would in a game and you can talk to people through your mic. It was so awesome. I don't know if they still do it. They probably are because I think that was like their test run. I think there may be more of that online now, but I'm not sure. So you can look that up, virtual career fairs or something like that. Um, but the one I went to was called Hired in the Metaverse. It, it, was, it was so cool. You gotta look that up. I got interviews from applying on the job sites like I mentioned earlier, but unfortunately I didn't get any offers from those. It, those were the ones with the technical interviews that like, you know, you did live coding for, which I knew I was just going to do terribly at. My friend who worked in consulting actually messaged me on my Instagram story wondering if I was looking for a job because I posted a story showing like a circle of people that I was talking to. Like I was the one who gathered them in the virtual career fair because like, you know, I just talk so much. And I just thought that it was really cool that I was doing something realistic, something that I would do virtually, which is why I posted it. So after my friend asked me if I was interested, I said, heck yes, I am looking for a job. Please give me a job. <laughs> and then we got to talking about the position and his company. I really appreciated my friend, you know, taking the time to describe in detail, like what that position is basically. And he wasn't pushing me just so he could get a referral, you know, like other people, even if they don't know you, they would just refer you just for the money. I really felt that he thought I was a really good fit for the position after we had a conversation and, you know, he just wanted the best for me. So I worked my butt off for the interviews because it had like four stages. Luckily, I didn't have to do any live coding in front of people for the technical interviews, which I had two technical portions, I think. And I'm still sure this is why I had a higher chance of getting the job because as I have mentioned in the previous video that I posted about my career change story, I was very insecure about my coding skills and to have to code in front of people just like prevented me from being able to show exactly what I can do, you know, which can probably apply to many, many people. Like I know I have a lot of friends who feel the same way. I don't really believe in these technical interviews where you only do live coding because I feel like in my opinion, personally, I just don't think it represents the person's skill as a whole. But anyway, I don't think I've ever prepared so much for an interview before because I really, really wanted this and I genuinely enjoyed every single interview that I had for this job. Even though my heart was like beating out of my chest because of how nervous I was every time an interview like was about to start, the people were just amazing and it just felt right. And the next thing I know, I'm getting an offer the same day as I finished interviewing. And I was, I was ecstatic. After I finished my interview, I was exhausted because it was like a half day interview and I just went to nap. I just, you know, everything was done. I tried my best. Whatever happens, happens. And I was about to nap and I got the call from the recruiter saying that they liked me and I got the job. And uh, I, I remember pacing around the room on the phone while she was talking and I could just feel that my heart was so full. I cannot describe just how much I was feeling. Like everything I did up to that point was so worth it. Every single thing. It just felt like I was meant for this job, for this career path. So I just felt really good about everything. And I really hope that if you're going through a career change, you get to that point as well. Because you will, you will. 
I am like getting so emotional just talking about this. I, oh my gosh, it was just one of the greatest experiences in my life. So let's move on to tips and advice. Number one, make sure you go to as many networking events as you can, whether it be in person or online. It's a really great way to connect with people. Go on LinkedIn and you know look for people who did boot camps and say hi. I mean, don't go messaging them and asking for jobs. You don't have to be best friends with them, but build a relationship with them to some level. Connections are very, very important because I think they're the fastest and smartest way you can get a job, which is how I got my job because of my friend. We had to talk for a good few years at that point, basically since he graduated college. But the thing is, he knew me well enough because we were good friends in college to know that I was a good fit for the position. Number two, take the job prep course your boot camp is offering you. For me, the job prep course was optional, but I don't know how other boot camps work. But for me to get the job guarantee, I needed to complete the job prep course. And personally, I saw it as a requirement because of that. My reasoning was I did it as a safety measure in case you know, I didn't find a job in six months because at least I'd get my money back and still leave with the knowledge that I worked hard to get. Number three, don't give up if you don't find a job right away. I know this is easier said than done, but especially at this time, it's more competitive because of all the tech layoffs that happened this year. So a lot of people are applying to all the tech jobs, but you have to remember that you spent so much time and worked so hard to switch into this career. You are a million steps ahead of a lot of people by making this change. So don't give up when it gets hard because again, it is so worth it if it's what you want. I mentioned in my previous video that I was looking to buy a car literally the same week that I decided to quit my job. Um, I was given two options. Either stick with a job and get the car that I really, really wanted at that time, or quit my job, work hard to switch careers, and be happy. I'm sure you can guess which one I chose, obviously. After I got my first job, you know, I finally bought my own car with my own money, okay? With my own money. That was the biggest thing. That was my first big girl purchase, and I was able to make it as a software engineer. And this is actually one of the cars that exists out there that I really like but knew I couldn't really afford, right? But I found a used one that was practically new because the previous owner leased it and barely drove it. And I got it for an amazing price. I was lucky to find it at that price, basically. I am a big believer that everything happens for a reason and this is one of those things because if I had been more impulsive that week, and chosen to buy the car because I just really, really wanted my own car, I would not be where I am today, happy. I am living proof that it is possible to turn your life around, okay? If the reason why you wanted a career change is because you were miserable at your old job or whatever reason it may be, it's possible to change that yourself. Make the move, put in the effort, and take that leap. But again, of course, don't forget to take time to research so you find what's best for you and then take the leap you yourself can make the change so you can live the life you actually want i have always had doubts that i could reach this point especially like during my lowest it's, it just seems so far away for me even impossible but i'm looking at myself now and i'm so proud to say that i got myself here i did all the work to get myself here to the place that seemed so far away back then and honestly it's a dream come true that i am actually happy and to me personally pay didn't really matter as much as you know enjoying my day to day enjoying what i do and i know it might be different for some people but coming from my old job that's all i really really wanted to achieve at least and anything else would be a bonus you know now i can live my life and start working on other goals that I have, like buying a house or traveling or experiencing the world the way I want to. I do also want to talk about why I decided to make these videos where I share my experience and story about my you know, career change. I wanted to make these mainly because when I was doing my own research before I did my boot camp, 
I was searching up for a lot of videos where people would share their own stories of when they did a career change themselves and just their experience in general because the more I was able to relate to their stories, the more I was motivated to do it. And being able to see where they were after you know, they made that change, I wanted to get there myself. It was very inspirational and that's really what I'm trying to do with these videos. I hope that I can give you motivation and inspiration. I hope you find value in these videos. I sound like a broken record now, but it's true. <laughs> I cannot emphasize that enough. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to comment down below. I would love to keep talking to you guys. I'd love to hear your stories or help you more outside of these videos. If you did find my videos on this topic helpful at all, or think they would be helpful for anyone in the same situation, please share it with them if you can. I would really, really appreciate that. Again, if you are interested in watching my other video that I keep mentioning in this video, I will link it down below. If you can, please leave this a like if you found this valuable at all and consider subscribing to my channel. I'm hoping to make more videos like this. If you have lots of questions, I can do Q&A. I can also gather some questions that a lot of my friends have asked me about this and then make a video out of that so that you can be more informed before or during your career change process. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Please only do this career change if you are ready. I'm not telling you to change your career when you're not ready. Please do it at your own discretion. Thank you.